Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video we are going to learn how to send SMS on JotForm submission. So here I have created a form using JotForm and in this case I want whenever a new form is submitted, automatically an SMS should be sent to that lead using an SMS sending application named as Twilio. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pavli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process, our trigger application will be JotForm and our action application will be Twilio. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to send an automated SMS on JotForm submission. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this button. In this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. Here I'm giving the name as send SMS on dot form submission. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action step. Now let's begin with the automation by simply setting up a trigger. Here I'm going to select my trigger application as dot form and my trigger event as new response. And here you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our JotForm with Pabli Connect. So following the instructions given below, here I have already logged in in my JotForm account. And this is the form which I am going to use. So here I am going to click on this more. And from here I am going to click on the settings. And from here I am going to select integrations. And now I am going to select the webhook for my integration. Here I am going to click on edit integration and from here I am going to remove this existing link and now moving back to Pabli. Here I am going to copy this webhook URL and now I am going to paste the new webhook URL. So here I have pasted the new webhook URL and then I am going to click on this complete integration. And here you can see it says integration ready. Now I am going to click on this finish. Now moving back to Pabli, here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response that means here we need to do a test submission. So moving back to jot form, here I am going to select my form. And here I'm going to do a test submission to receive a trigger response. So here I'm going to enter the name as dummy and last name as user. And for the phone number here, I'm going to select the country code as plus nine one. And here I'm going to enter a random phone number. And now I'm going to enter a dummy email that is dummy at the rate pabritudes.com. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted a response. Now moving back to Pabli. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received first name, last name, email, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to our action step. Here I am going to select my action application as Twilio. And my action event is send SMS message. And now to connect my Twilio with Pabli Connect, here I am going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I am going to select add new connection. If your Twilio account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. Now for the new connection, it is asking for account SID and authorization token. So for that, let me take you to my Twilio account. Here you can see I have received account SID and authorization token. So here I am going to copy these details. Moving back to Pabli. Here I am going to paste the account SID for the both field. Moving back. And now I'm going to copy the authorization token and paste the authorization token here. Now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on the save. And you can see we have successfully built a connection. Moving forward, here it is asking for body of the SMS. So here I'm going to enter the body of SMS that I want to be sent. So this is the body of the SMS I want to be sent. And here you can see it says, Dear Name, thank you for showing interest in our offerings. You will be updated through SMS for the further product details. Thank you, regards. So here I'm going to remove this name. And here I'm going to map the lead name. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here we will map the data from the response we have received in a JOT form. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is received, automatically these lead details will be updated with the new one. So here I am going to map the name 
first name, space, last name. Moving forward, it is asking for sender number. So for the sender number, let me take you back to my Twilio account. And here you can see we have received a Twilio phone number. Here I'm going to copy this. Moving back to Pabli and here I'm going to paste the sender number. Moving forward, now it is asking for recipient number. So here I need to enter the number to whom I want to send an SMS. So again here I'm going to map the number. Firstly, I'm going to map the area code and then I'm going to map the phone number. And now before clicking on see when sent this request, here I'm going to remove this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a SMS. So here I've entered my own number and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response. So now let me show you the screenshot of the SMS which I have received on my number. And this is the SMS which I have received. And here you can see it says sent from your Twilio trial account. So my SMS contains this statement because here I'm using my Twilio trial account. So with this we have successfully created our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So for testing our automation let's submit a new form response. Here I'm going to enter another dummy data where I'm going to enter the first name as test, last name as lead, again the phone number plus 91 country code and my original phone number and a random email that is test at the rate publicutes.com. So now I'm going to click on the submit. Now let me show you the screenshot of another SMS which I have received and here you can see the another SMS which I have received where we have received the name as dear test lead and the same SMS template. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as dot form and our action as twilio so that whenever a new response is received automatically an sms should be sent to that lead if you want to use the same workflow then you can find this clone link in the description box below i hope you like the video thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pabli connect if you have any doubt you can contact us on support at the if you have any query you can contact us on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can contact us on www.pabli.com if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends